Hey guys, I am going to be doing a quick reading, a um, message from your ancestors, okay? You have, you can't go back to yesterday, being in the present. So some of you guys are letting go of the past and just moving forward, realizing that being st stuck in the past or holding on to things that has happened to you in the past isn't really helping you now, right? So a lot of you guys are letting go. It's a 44 number. You guys might be seeing 44, 444. Um, you have choices, okay? I feel like you guys are, it's, it's a choice that you have here. You can either hold on and, you know, to the past and let it keep on bothering you, let it keep on making you upset, or you have a choice to move forward and not look back. Um, it's okay to remember the past, but it's not okay to be stuck there, right? The past is good because it's experiences that we go through and the things we learn a lot, right? But if it's things that is keeping us stuck, we need to move forward from that. I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You have do not drink poison. Do not do things that you know are bad for you. Okay, so this could be addictions. This could be the people that you surround yourself with. This could be negative mindsets. Whatever this is. I'm going to clarify what this poison is. The page of swords. This could be your mind. The ace of cups. This could be somebody that you think about all the time. This could be a lover. Um, this could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, could be strong Libra, Aquarius here. Um, I feel like you guys are trying to heal and start something fresh after getting out of something really toxic. Okay. And with the page of swords, it's saying, you know, I think you're getting a lot of signs that like, do not go back to the past. The past is, you know, done and over with. Now you have to start fresh. Right. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You're bringing in more balance. You may have felt like you had to walk on eggshells in the past too. Like you feel like you had to be careful of your words. Definitely with somebody from the past. Okay. Past life soulmate, karmic soulmate, okay? I'm hearing that they may have had an addiction too as well. It could just be anger. It could just be, you know, whatever. An addiction is something that you do a lot that is not good for you or other people, right? Something that kind of takes over your life and doesn't really allow you to live. Um, but I feel like you guys are healing from this. You're starting fresh. Um, and with the just, is it? The justice card. Yeah, I was right. Oh my lord. Yeah, you guys are balancing things out. You see how she's like in the middle of these two pillars and you're in the and she's in the middle of the two pillars and this person's like trying to help her out. You guys are getting over things, okay? And I feel like you have support, you have friends, you have family that's willing to kind of like be by your side. And even if it isn't friends or family and you're doing this alone, spirit is walking with you. Your ancestors are walking with you through this. You're not alone. So what happened in the past? could have jumped into something too quickly here yeah something that you wish you would have thought second you know thought over a little bit there's a lot of fights there's a lot of arguing there's a lot of struggle yeah I feel like this was something that was jumped into and then after that you were like questioning it but then you were already stuck right because you already started something here so you could have been with somebody who was really toxic and that caused a lot of arguments <laughs> the devil on the bottom of the deck could be a Capricorn nine of wands this could be physically mentally emotionally abuse physical mental emotional abuse okay this person may be very apologetic apologetic i'm sorry i'm gonna change i'll do better but yet yeah, they always left you with their you know empty promises uh illusions delusions i feel like you guys love this person so much that you wanted to you know try again and for this person to go back to the way that they used to be but i don't think they treated you so good i think they caused a lot of arguments i'm hearing jealousy so the tower as i'm saying this like this person caused a lot of like I'm hearing your friends to leave your life. Um, they could have taken you away from your family. Some of you guys, your kids. Um, the Two of Pentacles. This person had a lot of patterns. Okay. This could be you too, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like you're learning. If this is you, you've learned from this. And now you have a choice to move forward and start fresh and start over. I do think it's going to be pretty hard. Okay, the Knight of Wands, some of you guys are still back and forth as if, should you move forward from this? Some of you have already moved forward, but some of you guys are having a hard time moving forward. Let's see if you move forward. If you walk away from this, what is your life going to feel like? More stable. 
and you know it. You have the Judgment card, the Strength card, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Five of Cups. So I do feel like you guys are going to be, you know, sad. It's not going to be easy. But look at all these good cards that are coming in for you after you walk away from this. Like... Trusting your judgment, trusting your intuition, remaining strong. You guys are learning and growing from this. You're not going to crumble. You're going to stand strong through this. Healing's coming in, okay? I feel like some of you guys, if you're still involved with this person or this situation, you're damn near done with this. Like, you see how she's, like, testing the waters here? You guys are trying to figure out ways of how you can get out of this. Some of you guys are going back to school or learning a new trade or trying to make money behind the scenes secretly, okay? So this way you can get out of this situation. Only take what resonates for you you guys okay but you have a new beginning coming in for you some of you guys are moving to a new home or having a new job the four of wands is relocating and it's right next to the ace of wands which has a house so some of you guys are moving into a new house you have conscious <laughs> conclusions are within reach and a time to give rather than to take and don't let pride get in your way. Okay, so I'm going to read a time to give rather than take. Okay, it says, when the card comes up, it's time for you to take stock of your situation. Where are you and where do you want to go? The new moon energy of this card suggests a restart. And the Virgo energy suggests you make the restart a clever one that's simple and well organized. Virgo also has a strong health aspect to it. So if you've been unwell, this card suggests that your health is on the up. Virgo loves cleaning, eating, alternative therapies. So add these into your routines now. However you've been feeling, if a situation is blocked at the moment, it could be that you're overanalyzing things or being too critical. It's time to ask less of what someone else can do for you and to think more about what you could do for others. Recommit to healthy morning and evening routines. Okay, gradually improvement. Gradual improvements are coming. Pay attention to detail if you want success. And be of service to others and love and money will follow. The person you're asking about is reliable. Okay, so I think this is more of like your friends that are trying to help you. Um, there could also be a new lover coming in with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands popping up here. There might be some new lover coming in or a new friend coming in or a new soulmate that's going to help you through this. Okay, I don't feel like you guys are doing this alone, but I do feel like you feel like you're alone. So let's see, who's this new person coming in? Seven of Cups tells me you guys got multiple things coming in, multiple opportunities, multiple people, multiple choices that you can make. The Page of Wands, the Star, and the Queen of Swords. This is good because the person that's coming in for you, whether it's a friend or a lover, this is somebody who's very blunt, very honest, very reliable. Okay, this person's also could be a healer. This person could be with a star card, somebody who will help you through your struggles and understand what you're going through and give you good advice or at least just be somebody that can listen to you, right? Even if you don't want advice, this person will be there just to listen, you know? The Page of Wands, this is somebody who's very inspiring, okay? And with the Seven of Cups clarified by the Two of Swords, I don't know if you... You have multiple options coming in for you, but some of you guys are a little bit closed off. You don't really trust everybody, but there is. So this might be the reason why Spirit keeps on saying somebody reliable is coming in for you, okay? To just kind of let you know, to confirm that not everybody is a liar, not everybody's a piece of shit, not everybody's out there to hurt you. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you've been doing so much work for yourself and other people. And it's been a long time coming, right? It's been a long time of heartbreaks, a long, long time of all these setbacks and things not going your way. But I feel like, you know, sooner or later, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Like, exactly. Like, you have a new beginning coming in for you, a stable new beginning. Okay. I want to see how people think of you how people feel about you the world so i feel like you're very important to a lot of people they may consider you very successful a lot of people may have noticed you change okay you may not be the same person that you used to be the four of cups you don't really waste too much time with too many people you may have a very small circle of friends okay you may ignore <laughs> 
some people may consider you as like uh, somebody that doesn't take things from other people. You're a giver, but you don't like to receive. Also, with the Four of Cups, it's like a lot of people may try to help you, but you're like, I'm good. I could do it on my own, right? A lot of people look up to you for that, though. They consider you very strong-minded. The Lovers, the Ten of Cups, the f you keep on getting the Four of Wands. This is how people see you. You're very empathic. You have a very strong sense of like protecting other people. I feel like you're very good with kids. I feel like a lot of people just consider you very lovely, very loving, you know, like they could trust you. And I think that's the reason why Spirit's bringing you in somebody. And they keep on saying that you're getting a trustworthy friend because maybe you haven't really had that, you know. You need somebody to open up to so you don't have to keep everything on the inside, okay. That won't resonate for everybody. Sometimes we have more than one friend, but for, for whoever this is resonating for, I feel like you guys have a very small group of friends because you're so pure and it's like you can read other people's energies and it's just like you just don't want to waste your time with people who are just untrustworthy. People consider you are the light of other people's lives. Like you shine the light for other people. I don't know if you guys realize how important you are to other people, but you are. I mean, the sun, the lovers, the temperance card, three major arcanas, all having to do with, like, equality, clarity, trust, healing, you know. Then you have the ten of cups, family person. So I feel like a lot of your family really loves you or they, you know, a lot of people consider you family. So you might have, like, a lot of friends that, like, accept you as, like, part of their family. I just feel like you guys are such good people. And it's like you reach for the stars and then you help other people reach for the stars too as well. It's like what you want for, for yourself, you want for other people. You feel other people's emotions. I feel like you have this mothering, fathering energy too to where it's like, you know, you want to take care of people. You want to make sure people are on the right path, right? I do feel like some of you guys may have done that so much to where you put yourself last, so I feel like this is more about you putting yourself first, okay? And, um, you know, where it says the time to give rather than take, I feel like you guys are really being asked to kind of start taking more and allowing, you know, people to do for you rather than you always being the one to do for everybody else, okay? Like, let's say if somebody wants to buy you, you know, your food at the store or whatever, and you're like, no, like, the next time try to say yes, Okay? This is like, we need balance in everything, in the good, and the bad, and the give, and the take, and, you know, stuff like that. So try to allow yourself to start receiving more. The more you start accepting, the more things will come in for you guys as well. You have the judgment card. I, I swear, it's like people, the Six of Cups, a lot of people may consider you as like a soulmate. Somebody that, like I said, somebody they could trust. Some of you guys had friends from childhood that you've had for years. One thing for sure is that you are somebody who always wants to help out everybody. You have so much good things about you that I feel like you <clears throat> you just naturally draw people in. Like, all of these cards are like purple, blue, white, you know? These are all calming colors, um, very bright colors. This is how people see you. And then look at all these ones, gray, dark, you know? But this is how people see you, all these light colors. So I feel like you guys are very, it's like you have a light that shines within you. Your aura is very bright. You might have purple, white, or blue auras, okay? I don't know what they stand for for the color meaning, but you guys can always Google that. But I do feel like you guys are somebody that just lights up other people's lives. And, you know, you help other people in so many ways. I don't know if you guys know that, but I feel like a lot of people enjoy having you in their life and this can also be for like exes or people that did you wrong it's like it might be very hard for people to let you walk out of their life too as well i feel like you guys are waiting on something right now waiting on some seeds that you've planted to grow okay something that you've been obsessively focused on and working on. This could be a career. This could be work. This could be getting out of something that's toxic. Some of you guys are waiting, but there's so much that you guys are doing already. So, you know, 
I feel like you guys are not at the beginning stages. It's like you, you've been dealing with this for a while. Whatever this is, let's see the outcome. Yeah, here we go with the choice to, to, to the Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. You have a choice, okay? It's going to hurt if you stay. It's going to hurt if you go, okay? So I feel like you guys got to make the best choice for yourselves, which I see you doing, right? Conclusions are within reach. I do see that you guys are about to end something that is too difficult for you or end something that you felt stuck to for a very long time. Um... And this is going to bring in a brand new beginning for you. It's going to feel very free, okay? The Eight of Wands underneath of the Devil. It's like you're moving forward from these chains, okay? So this could be, like I said, anything in your life. So we're just going to find out the last few cards. We're going to use my Vision Board deck. Give you guys something to look forward to. Generational Wealth. Humanitarian. And letting go of regret. Underneath of the deck is whatever you imagine. Unlimited imagination. Okay, logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. So let your mind run free. And don't think that there's anything that you can't reach, okay? Because then that's exactly what's going to happen. So whatever it is that you guys want, go for it. Okay, don't give yourself any excuses. Don't down talk yourself. Don't downplay yourself. Go for it. Okay, with a humanitarian, I feel like you guys do a lot of work for yourself and other people. Some of you guys take care of the world. Some of you guys take care of animals. Some of you guys take care of other people. You know, this could be your job or just something that you naturally do. Okay, when you do a lot of good for other people, it always comes back to you. So just know that, you know, your work doesn't go unnoticed. God, the angels, ancestors, your higher self spirit they all see and generational wealth i feel like you are going to be somebody that's going to be able to pull your family out of or pull your family that like let's say um let's say if you left like a toxic family and now you're creating your own family and it's like for my kids i'm not going to do the same thing i've went through right so i feel like you guys are creating a better future for your family okay in whatever way that means for you and I'm hearing breaking generational curses as well. So you guys may have been like that black sheep in the family that has just changed everything around. I feel like a lot of people see you change. A lot of people have seen your growth. But I do feel like some of you guys have to let go of something because it's still in your energy. Once that's letting go of, once that's let go of, I feel like you guys are going to be able to soar so much faster. Just think of like a bird trying to fly with like a rope connected to him. And then you cut the rope and it's like, pshum, right? <laughs> or you let a dog out of the cage that's been stuck in a cage forever, right? What do they do? They fucking go crazy. They get the zoomies. It's like such excitement to be set free and to feel like you have full control over whatever it is that you want to do, not feeling trapped anymore. And that's what I feel like is going on for you guys. So anyway, that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe if you want and take care. Have a good day. See ya.